Hello, welcome to the BSP Software Podcast channel. Today's podcast is focused on prompting. In our first example, we're going to allow Cognos to generate the prompts. We're going to do that by adding a parameter to our report. I'm going to right click on my list, select go to query, and in my query I'm going to select products, product line, and drag that to my detail filter. I'm going to run my report without adding a prompt control to it, and we're going to see what happens. When my report comes back, you can see that I'm prompted for a single value because I used an equals sign. So I can select one of the values in the list. We'll select outdoor protection and click OK. When the report comes back, you can see outdoor protection is the only item in the list, and I have no other pages. I'm going to close my report. I'm going to go back to the detail filter. And let's change our equal sign to an in. By telling it that we want a list, if I click OK and run it again, you'll see Cognos generated a new type of prompt called a multi-select prompt. I can tell it's a multi-select because I have select all and deselect all, and when I click, I can select more than one item. We're going to select the last two items and click OK. And you can see I have outdoor protection and personal accessories in my report. Let's close our report, go back to Report Studio, and remove our filter from the query. I'm going to start by going back to my page, select page one. I'm going to click on product line, and now I'm going to click the build prompt page button. You'll see I get a new page with a prompt control on it and a label product line. If I look at the properties for my prompt control, you can see it references a query called product line, and it has a use value and display value, which reference two columns within that query. And if I scroll down, it references a parameter called product line. If I go to my query explorer, you'll see we have a new query called product line, and select query one. The default for this is multi-select, so you can see that it added an in statement to filter product line. I'm going to click OK. We'll go ahead and run the report. And you'll see that I get the same multi-select prompt. And if I click finish, I get the values in my report. Let's close our report and go back to Report Studio. Let's see what happens if we change that in statement, which was the default, to be an equal statement. Click OK. Let's go back and look at our prompt page you'll see that the multi-select property is still set to yes. If I run the report, even though that's set to yes, I still get a single select prompt. Cognos was smart enough to realize that selecting multiple values for a single value parameter doesn't make any sense. So it changed my prompt for me. Let's close this report, and let's take a look at the select UI. For a multi-select prompt, my UI options are list box and checkbox group. If I change multi-select to no, my options become list box, drop-down list, and radio button group. Radio buttons and a drop-down list are to support single select. Whereas having a multi-select, I get a list box and a checkbox group, because both of those controls support selection of multiple items. If I scroll back up in my properties list, we'll see the query points to product line, and uses these two columns from that query subject. If I go to my Query Explorer, you'll see that I have product line query containing my two columns and a filter on product line. If I go back to my prompt page and I select that prompt, if I delete the prompt, you'll see in the Query Explorer the product line query is now gone. If I go to Query 1, you'll see it did not remove the filter. Now I'll show you how to manually add a prompt control to your report. For this demo, we're going to use the search and select prompt. Let's start by going to our page explorer, selecting prompt pages, and adding a new page. I'm going to double click on that page, and from the toolbox I'm going to select a search and select prompt. I'm going to create a new parameter called product line. I'm going to create a parameterized filter referencing the product line. I'm going to change my operator to in, and I'm going to click next. I'm going to create a new query. We'll call it product line also. 
I'm going to use the same value for use and display, so I don't have to populate display. If I don't supply a display value, it will use the value from the use property. I'm going to click finish. You'll see I get a prompt control with three controls on it, a search box, and two lists. It created a new query called product line. And it added a detail filter, referencing product line with an in statement. I'm going to click OK. Let's run that. I'm going to search for outdoor and select my value. I'll enter mountain and search for that. Select that value, add it to the list, select both my values and click finish. You'll see I get mountaineering equipment. If I go to the bottom, I get outdoor protection. Let's close our report. Let's go back to our prompt page. Let's change that prompt to be a single select. So I highlight the prompt, scroll down my properties until I see the multi-select property, and we'll set that to no. You'll see one of my lists went away. Click run. I'll type outdoor and select outdoor protection and click finish. Let's close that report. Let's undo those changes. So now we have our multi-select prompt back. But what happens if we go into our query, for query 1, and change that from an in statement to an equals? Again, our prompt is still set to multi-select. But when I run it, because the query has an equal sign, Cognos is smart enough to generate a single select prompt. Let's go back to our report. Let's go to our report page. And let's add another prompt. So I'm going to start by adding orders, order year to our list. I'm going to click on order year and I'm going to create a cross tab. I'm now going to go back to my prompt page. I'm going to add a table so that I can lay out my two prompt controls. I'm just going to create a simple table with two rows. In the bottom row I'm going to put my first prompt control. And then ahead of that I'm going to add a new prompt control by selecting my toolbox and selecting a date prompt. I'm going to drag that over to the top row. I'm going to create a parameter called order date. I'm going to create a parameterized filter based on orders, order date. Instead of equals, I'm going to use in range. This will let me define a beginning and ending date. And if I make the filter optional, I can select just a beginning date, just an end date, both or neither. I'm going to click next. I'm going to apply the filter only to query one because product line is used to populate another prompt control. And I'm going to click finish. Because it's a date, there is no query behind it. If I click run, and change this to 2005, go to January to get the beginning of the year, and we'll change this one to 2005, and get the end of the year. Search for outdoor. select outdoor protection and click finish and you can see we get year 2005 for outdoor protection let's run our report again and this time let's just leave the earliest date and latest date we'll leave outdoor protection selected and click finish and you'll see we get 2004 2005 and 2006 let's run our report again this time let's select 2005 we'll go to January 1st and we'll go to the latest date. Click Finish. You'll see I get 2005 and 2006. Let's close our report and go back to our prompt control. Let's change the select UI on that. By default it's set to calendar. If I select the drop down, I can also select edit box. And that changes it to two text boxes with a button providing me with a calendar pop-up. Let's run our report and see what that looks like. It looks just like our last one, except instead of the calendars, we see a text box with this button, and our calendar pops up when we click it. 
Let's go ahead and close this. And let's take a look at one last technique. All of these all of these prompt controls have been in prompt pages, meaning they run before the report executes and before we see any actual data. Cognos also gives you the ability to prompt from within your report pages. If I go into Page Explorer and select my report, I'm going to add a new table just like I did to my prompt page. I'm going to select my list and drag that to the lower portion of the table. And on the top half of the table, I'm going to drag a new prompt control. We're going to drag a value prompt. I'm going to use an existing parameter because I want to reuse the product line. I'm not going to create a new query. Instead, I'm going to select the prompt. I'm going to select query and refer to the same query that's driving my other prompt control. And again, I don't have to fill in the display value if I'm going to use the same thing for use and display. So we're just going to supply a use value of product line. I'm now going to change the auto submit property to yes. Now if I run my report, I'll leave the earliest date and latest date. For my product line, I'll enter outdoor and click on search. Select my outdoor protection product line and click finish. Now when my report runs, I see outdoor protection in my drop down list. Or I see outdoor protection in my output data. And if I drop down my prompt control and select a different product line, my report automatically refreshes to reflect a new value. I hope you found today's podcast useful. Please look for more podcasts on the BSP Software Podcast channel by visiting our website at bspsoftware.com or subscribing to our channel called BSP Software on YouTube. Thank you.